I ain't misusing the word mid in the title. I, I gotta say, it looks more boring than just bad. Well, it looks bad, but not that bad. Okay, let me explain. <coughs> the budget also does look about as bad as my budget because I only have one patron right now. So if you pay me, not only will my production value rise, but I can like make what you guys want, which will be swagger like McJagger, footlong subway in 2006, full drawing today. Some things never inflate, like my drawings, because I'm not drawing infl- I think the dislikes are excessive for the trailer because I'm used to them being reserved in the million plus range for some of the worst movies releasing in the past decade. Even the original Sonic trailer in some ways did look worse than this. However, people are right that like it's not going to get fixed like the Sonic trailer. Like that was a bit miraculous for that Sonic design to get fixed. But this is the whole movie. You'd have to scrap the entire movie in order to fix this stuff. Every decision they put into this movie reeks of such little confidence that it might do something worse than absolutely aggravate the moviegoers and instead just mildly annoy everyone. Once again, this does not look like the absolute worst thing ever. Though it would have been nice to use a Minecraft theme song for the trailer, the vibe they have for the remixed Beatles song does kind of inspire wonder and imagination. They at least did try to make the world match the aesthetic of the games. Emphasis on the word try. And even if they apparently got some things wrong with said crafting and the lore, they're at least trying to put in some fan service. Once again, emphasis on the word try. MSD. I look at older video game adaptations like the ones from Ui Bowl, the original Mario Brothers, and instead of being cautious adaptations, they were just straight up ashamed of being adaptations. I feel like this does elevate it above the bottom of the barrel for my first impressions. Like, th there's an attempt. Like, they embrace the aesthetic. Poorly, but they embrace it. But I don't look at this and think, that's not Minecraft. Is it cynical just using the IP to get fans? Yes. But they don't actively hate the fans. During the 90s and 2000s, you could tell these people did not like what they created or were inspired by. Or at least someone on the team here was like, okay, yeah, you got Jason Momoa dressed as Dora and all of the other generic actors of the 2020s. But can you at least make the world kind of look like Minecraft? Sure, I got a, I got a shoelace worth of budget. You know what? Fuck it. I, it's, I'll get it. You know, that's what I can get. I mean, the go it's not like the Goombas look like... <laughs> the... What am I looking at, bro? Like, look at any other Japanese project. Emirate has went on saying that he disliked Godzilla for being unrealistic, so they just turned him into a big chin Jurassic Park clone with muscular dystrophy after paralyzing his face in a mewing streak. And Dragon Ball Evolution. Well, Dragon Ball Evolution. So congrats, Minecraft movie. You look better than Dragon Ball Evolution. And the 90s Mario Brothers movie. I hope you're proud of yourself. Now that we covered why the Minecraft movie looks like it earned at least 4 points out of 10, let's talk about why it hasn't earned anything past that. This film, once again, weirdly cautious looking. It feels like it's already dated though, and I don't mean in the way you think. It feels like it has dated philosophies. One thing everyone's mentioned is that they should have just went in, like, all in on the animation. Kind of like the Lion King 2019, where technically they animated everything anyways, but called it live action. Like, it looks like it's trying to look real, but failing. Obviously, Lion King 2019 at least succeeded at making it look realistic, but it's like, I'm looking at a realistic cub staring at his father dying. What's the point of it not being animated? So, I at least admire some of the silly animation having expressiveness here. But at that point, you just need to go all in. And that's this movie's big problem so far. It just can't fully commit to any angle. The Lego movie, practically the same concept of bricks to do whatever you want with, but the story is actually kind of okay when you look at it. Like Lego movie, one of the best movies ever. Fire. Mario movie. It's a 6 out of 10, but you know, it's fun and still faithful. Like, I'm sorry guys, I don't like the Mario movie that much, but works. Now one counter argument is once again the Sonic movie trilogy. The issue there is that for as iconic as Green Hill Zone is, people care a lot 
the sound of thousands of hardcore Sonic fans cracking their knuckles and getting ready to leave angry comments on IGN videos. Like, a lot. And I'm sure we'll do something to piss them off. More about the Sonic characters in the world. Or maybe they're still mad because somebody spoke ill of Sonic on an IGN podcast seven years ago. I'd go as far as to say that the Sonic characters are why so many people love it. Or maybe they haven't gotten over the low review score that Sonic Adventure got 23 years ago, but either way. I still see Sonic OCs and passionate defenses to this day. After they fixed one design, emphasis on one, reception from the movie went from, wow, this looks terrible, to, oh my god, this is amazing. They got the characters right, they got the wit right. The people liked it. But Minecraft is the world. Minecraft is the creativity and the open-endedness, which is kind of bad for a movie concept in the first place, because people really like not embracing the story. People say the lore is good. That's kind of getting deeper into the weeds. Casuals and fans alike will appreciate the world of Minecraft, and once again, they sort of got it right, but not shying away from unrealistic aesthetics and emphasizing exploration and creativity. But they were too afraid of going all in, so the CGI creatures just look creepy, uncanny. They look like, ugh, even the blocks look fleshy. What is this, all tomorrows? Uh, now, some may say this is for kids. What the hell? David Zaslov, make a choice that isn't financially shooting yourself in the foot decision. Impossible difficulty, apparently. I won't be surprised if Warner Brothers doesn't just make the first fully AI movie, but straight up pays the same budget for it as they normally would, then get sued for copyright infringement because they forgot to check what AI filters were being used, and the movie bombs anyway. It's, I, I'm serious, Warner Brothers is that, that level of consistent incompetence lately. There's more evil companies, dumber ones? How are they still around? Disney can at least assassinate any of their plus subscribers if they defect at least. For legal reasons, of course, this is a joke, not defamation. And this movie just, it looks like it's on that same Warner Brothers incompetent streak. They just have a grab bag of popular actors, and to be fair, Jack Black's recent track record has been consistently at least elevating the bad movies he's been in. Once again, even if they suck. But here, this might just be a genuinely bad role for him. His Steve has potential to be one of those legendarily bad adaptations to go down in history. I think the internet has been deprived for some more on the levels of Godzilla gets shot by missiles, the Merc with no mouth, um, Dragon Ball Evolution. Hell, I even think the Star Wars nerds are getting sick of genuinely ruining their mental health over life-shortening arguments about The Last Jedi for the billionth time. I think we just need some more slop in our lives. And so I think we're gonna exaggerate this kind of bad-looking movie and act like it's the worst thing ever. Seriously, this trailer, it was reanimated by fans, and despite looking technically less impressive, it feels ten times better. Just kind of aim for the middle ground on everything, it, it looks too inaccurate for fans, too weird for normies like me, too grimy for kids, too immature for adults, so yeah, it doesn't look like the worst thing ever. It looks mid, but it's mid to everyone. Who's gonna watch this? I know who. Penguin Zero will, and his title will be, Yep, This Movie Was Bad, with a slightly far away yet recognizable blurry screenshot from the movie as a thumbnail. That way people will know that it's from the movie, but it'll be too small to see the funny part, so they will click on it. And then, may the poo poo pee pee jokes commence. And to be fair, I'm also gonna watch it and regurgitate everyone else's opinion anyways. So I'm a funny hypocrite. So like, if you wanna see, you know, good projects, wanna see me bring attention to good projects and good animation, if you like animation by any chance, I don't know, you could sub to allocations, that'd be pretty swagger like Mick Jagger. Thanks. This movie looks bad, but it doesn't look like the worst thing ever. Bye.